Yeah, I'm on there. Um, me, Superstar K. I ain't got no shirt on, I'm skinny as fuck, and I'm gonna keep this quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some updates and shit. I was supposed to first off to do the show Friday. I had shit to do. I got a fucking life. This is what it is. Usually I hop on camera over there, I like way be nervous, I be having a little shit to say, but I don't be knowing how to say it. I really don't give a fuck what y'all think at this point. So, accept it. Late nights for Superstar. Over there, hood nigga. Webcam, let's do it. First off, it's been a crazy week for me. But I've been bringing people on, I've been losing other people, it's just been fucking crazy. And I don't want to get into too much this week over there, so I'm just going to give y'all a few updates. I'm going to speak my mind, let me keep it moving. And, um... First off being the Waiting for Autumn 2 beat tape was supposed to drop on October 12th. Shit happened. Yeah, I said it. October 21st. Look for it then. But there, um, may get pushed back again there. I'm not 100%. I'm waiting on this sign for the clear. And it's costing a lot of money. And I'm not willing to pay it. So I might have to totally get the sample redone. Anybody that does sample beats, you know how hard it is to get Beatles songs done. As well as Michael Jackson songs. And, um... There's a couple of other artists who are not, but I, I have a Beatles sample that I'm trying to get done, and, if, and it's a really nice song. I've let two or three people hear it, they really liked it, so yeah, I'm hoping that it'll be, you know what I'm saying, coming in by the 21st. I would really love for it to be on this tape. If it can't be, whatever have been I found out by the end of October, then I will release Waiting for Autumn 2, November 1st, and it will not have that track on there. But, as for now, I'm trying to go ahead and get that sample clear, and um, that's why I pushed the tape back. Um, I'll have a tape on November 21st, which is titled Forever Yours. It's another beat tape. Um, it's already completed. All new tracks, whatever is separate from Waiting for Autumn and separate from everything else. It's stuff that you haven't heard yet and that you won't hear until the release date. It'll also be free as well as Waiting for Autumn. It'll be available on the website. It'll be pretty good, you know, whatever. I, I pretty much put 100%, uh, but not pretty much, I put 100% behind all of my work so yeah it was actually going to be my first instrumental album but we decided to well i decided that i didn't like it it wasn't up to par for my first actual instrumental album so i went ahead and changed it up and um, went ahead and stuck with it, making it a beat tape so yeah I, I recovered it after i scrapped it and decided that you folks would appreciate it now to keep it away free and um as always the beat tapes are available to use you know on your mixtape projects and your youtube videos and all of that and whatever, if you like to use it exclusively, you already know, contact one of the representatives and we get back with you. Now, I got a third beat tape coming, which will be released in December with Quay. Um, Quay A, whatever she's been doing music for a couple of years now. But she's a cold female producer. Um, and and like, like she got a lot of skills. She used to be Team America or whatever. Um, I say we, we're still good on business times. There was never any bad business between the two of us. I love her to death. She's like a little sister to me. It was never nothing like that. Whatever. It was just that um, at, at the time, we were both trying to go in two different directions. I was trying to go in the direction of a business sense and whatnot, whatever. And she was, you know, trying to come into her own and whatnot. And I believe that we both made the right choices in that. And it became something beautiful because now when we connect, we make hits. You know what I'm saying? Before we were making good beats, now we're making hits. Whatever. And that's something that a lot of you don't do. So, that so um you ready for that we don't have a title for it we don't have a release date i think she actually gave me a release date but i don't remember it because my head is fucked up so you know it's all good we we've got the skill we got a bunch of beats together we got more coming so look out for that um my actual album it's an instrumental album a couple of hooks and then i um it's called love addicted it'll be dropping december 1st 2012 it's already completed I don't have to add shit really other than the cover art. I changed my mind a lot over I love change. And I was looking for the perfect cover and it's been hard as hell. I mean, it's called Love Addicted. You would expect uh, certain things, whatever, and me being me, I like the simple cover. So, you know. But yeah, it's gonna be an instrumental album releasing, like I said, December first, twenty twelve. You will have to pay to get a copy. But I can promise you that it's some of my favorite work that I've ever done in life. Like there are absolutely no tags on the beat, not at the beginning, not in the middle, not at the end of the beat. Whatever, every piece of it is beats. Like it's, it's just a hit. But if, and every track that's on there, I believe, is a hit. 
you'll be able to use them on any projects that you will not be making money off of. That means mixtapes, if you're doing free shows, if you're doing um, but free albums, uh, YouTube videos, background music for pornos. Regardless of what you decide you want to use it for or whatever, as long as you're not going to get paid off of it, um, you can use it for that. Um, I know <laughs> that a lot of people never were like interested in pre-ordering it. You can contact a sales representative anytime after November 3rd. After November 3rd. Stop trying to contact me now to get it. You're not going to. And if I said if you want to pre-order it, it will release December 1st. You can pre-order November 3rd or later. That was for your store, folks. But, uh, so those of you that do, you can get a special gift along with it. Those of you that don't, you're still going to get an amazing product. You'll be really happy with the outcome. And um, you'll realize that with each project that I drop, I'm slowly overcoming the amazing. Uh, it's what we specialize in. Moving on. Website still underway. Um, from my understanding, one of the designers dropped the project. Um, he said that I have too many beats. Like, I'm shitting you not. Nigga. He said that I have too many beats. I have 2200 beats that I'm trying to get put on the new website and he dropped the project because he said that it was too many beats and he wasn't willing to take the time to do it. He said that it would cut into his other work. I don't understand why because he was being paid for so as of right now the website being updated is a fucking sitting duck. Odds are I'll end up doing it myself because I'm loyal to myself and that'll be the outcome but I'm not even going to do it myself I'm going to find a company that's willing to do it so. You know, shout out to those designers ever to, you know, half ass do things or not. Um, you'll get real far in business like that. I'm not. Anyway, um, you know what I'm saying? The website will be coming. As I always say, better late than never. Let's move on. Um, shout out to Reels Cafe. They um, will be signing, well, are signed to King Jaden Productions now. Uh, be sure to check them out. They've got some amazing beats. They really inspired me a lot. Whatever, a lot of my later rap beats with Mikey Knox. And I whatever shout out to Mikey Knox as well. He also used to be a member of Team America. We never had any bad business whatever again. Um, just like with Quay, whatever he had a couple of things that he had to do at the time and whatnot, whatever. And um, I was in a different situation than the both of them, and so I didn't exactly have to go through what they were going through. We didn't exactly understand each other. We never had beef. It was never nothing like that. It was just we went different ways. You know what I'm saying? For lack of opinion, and if I feel like he made the move that was best for him, and he never stopped dropping good music, just like Quay. They they both dropped good music, and they bettered themselves before they entered into trying to be a part of something that they weren't exactly ready to be in. And so I got much respect for the both of them. I'm still working with both of them as you see, so it's no problem. You've never seen me dissing them. I've never sent subliminals because when I got a problem with a person, I call him out. That job. He is not signed to King Jaden Productions. He was going to sign to King Jaden Productions due to an error with him being a pussy. He decided that he was going to go a different way, whatever, and instead of coming to me like a man and saying, all right, well, I'm not cool with the terms of the contract, he decided that he was going to pawn everything off on the fact that his girlfriend was weird. Those were his exact words. Shout out to Shelby. Whatever, I have no problem with you, sweetie. Whatever, and him not signing with us is not your fault. It's nobody's fault. Whatever, it's a blessing because lames don't have no business in KJP, period. Whatever, and, and what he did was he tried to make it seem like, whatever, oh, because she was weird, whatever, which she's not, whatever, like she's just as weird as I am. Or whatever, but he tried to make it seem like because you know she's her, whatever that he couldn't sign to us. Mind you, she's not an employee. I love you to death, Shelby, but you're not an employee of KJP, and he knows that. Whatever, but he wanted to put the blame on somebody because he's too much of a bitch, and he does not conduct business well. And went out of it, and that's fine because it is what it is. Whatever, so I mean, I'm not even angry at you, Death Child, whatever. Like I'm really not angry. Whatever, I think that you don't conduct business well, and that's on you. But hell. I just saw you advertise that you were selling 50 beats for five dollars. <laughs> Good luck. Anyway, <laughs> my take of the day is based on I don't I don't hate people that don't buy beats. 
I really don't. You you people are getting it wrong, and and you just getting it wrong. I, I hate people that try to make money off free beats. That's what I hate. That's a big difference. I get free mix tape, free beat tapes. Correction. I get free beat tapes all the time, and it's because I I want to support these artists that can't afford tracks. I want them to feel inspired by the music. I want them to feel driven. I want them to feel the love that I put into each track. And when I and, and I want them to go into the lab and, and feel like I actually going in there and doing something. And I want them to make some money. And I want them to come back and be like, this nigga show this love and and this that, and the third. And they don't even have to come back to buy beats. They could just come back to be like, hey man, I'm feeling your music. But if a person come into me and tell me that they feel my music, and with that, other it's just as good as a person buying music, really. really. Like I, I appreciate the comments. Whatever a lot. Whatever that might sound crazy, but I really do love music. I love money a lot. Don't get me wrong. Over there, I don't really give a lot of free shit away, and people are kind of disappointed at me in that. Whatever, I got two kids to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Like two kids and a beautiful little something <laughs> that I've got to worry about. So I'm not, I'm not greedy. Or whatever, it's a thing of I'm working. This is my life. This is my business. I don't get up and go to work. I get up and work is there. I get up and I provide work while others are out there building somebody else's dream. Every day I'm building mine because this is my company that I built. So when you see me charging and you're like, well, damn, you know what I'm saying? He don't give away shit for free or he's not willing to work with me or whatever because he's not, you know, I'm not spending any bread. It's not that I hate you. It's not that I think you're lame. It's just that we've got two different things. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to make your money so that you can feed your kids and you know this, that, the third, that, everywhere. I'm doing the same thing. So it's mutual respect. Whatever anybody that's grinding, anybody that's hustling, I got much respect for them. I don't have no hate for nobody. But if I just told y'all that whatever, some bad business went down, whatever, and I still don't hate that guy. I mean, I don't have shit to say to you on a personal note, but at the same time, but if I don't hate you, like, I don't have a reason to hate anybody. But if I love everybody, I got much love. I'm addicted to it. Like so, you know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, I just don't. As far as the free beats and shit, whatever, you won't catch free singles and shit like for me. I leave that shit to Giuliano, Superstar, O5, all them motherfuckers. I, I blame them for the music production being fucked up the way it is in a way because, like, y'all, y'all among other people, don't get me wrong, it's not just y'all, but y'all among other people, we're giving away a lot of free beats to climb up the sound clip charts, and that shit is gay to me. It's correction, because I, I don't like to disrespect gay people. That shit is lame to me, whatever, and it's lame because sound clip charts don't get you paid, like, the same way that niggas out here would have been making money and they're like, oh yeah, whatever, where they killing it on SoundClick. <laughs> I've been doing this shit in the streets for how long? I think I'm 11 years deep, but they're like, half you motherfuckers that they're wearing even touching keyboards at that time. And I've got more tracks than, ever, than any of y'all. And hell, I got more tracks than most of y'all combined. So, I really feel like, you know what I'm saying, y'all kind of fucked it up for a lot of producers, but it's cool because when you're a real hustler, you're going to find a way when it ain't no way. they like, when this grass on the ground, you're gonna make a path, that's how you do it. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is on that. Um, I'm still not giving free beats, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wanna check them takes, that's only like. Moving on. Um, if you're a hater, you know what I'm saying, and, and you're doing good, whatever, just stay in your life, man. Do your like music, make money, leave the bullshit out of it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that I looked up to that let me down musically. And these people are amazing on the personal side, but. I mean, they're amazing musically, correction. They're amazing musically, but on the personal side, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck with you. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Whatever. Um, like, there's a guy named Eli. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck with you. Like, I, I, I wouldn't fuck with you. But you make some decent music sometimes. There's a guy, um, Elroy. I never, I, I, I used to fuck with you on the personal side. And I, I don't really fuck with you. You're not. Um, let me see. Uh. That child, I mean, I, I don't really fuck with him at all anymore. No Maybe that was kind of some gay shit. I mean, some bitch shit. Sorry, I I'm slipping. That was kind of some whole shit that you put. Um, there's a couple other people that I can't think right now of them, but me being me, you know, I'm quick to call a motherfucker out and I don't give a fuck. So, yeah. Um, but if you're doing your thing, man, whatever, stay in your lane. Whatever, pretty much. I'm not here to diss nobody. I, I'm gonna speak my mind, because, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it's there for, but I'm not gonna. In any way, shape, or form, like you know what I'm saying, hate on nobody. I, I don't have no reason to hate on niggas. I just, 
I, I feel like that you would be a lot better off if you would do what the fuck is you make music, make money. But if it stop hating on other producers, stop hating on artists, and when I heard it, but like you'll spend a fucking day and a half dissing an artist or dissing a producer, or whatever, and it's like, nigga, for what? You know what I'm saying? If you put that time into making beats, or whatever, or you know what I'm saying, promoting yourself, nigga, do you know what kind of sales you have? And I can say that shit because while I'm talking to y'all and making videos or while I'm out fucking my girl or while I'm out playing with my kids, I got promoters. They already paid. They out doing the job. Y'all see the links? Shit. You ain't lead, you ain't got led to this motherfucking video by accident. You know what I'm saying? So it, it is what it is with that, man. Um, side note to the lame ass nigga that was trying to get some beef shit started between myself and the homie Goku. You can just die slow. So there, I, I spoke to my nigga. We talk like men, you know what I'm saying? We don't do the whole he say, she say shit, whatever. It's no standard issues between us, whatever. It hasn't been since we met, whatever. Goku is my nigga. He taught me a lot, whatever. I'm hoping that I taught him something, whatever. I mean, the fucking guy, he's got amazing tracks, whatever. Like, there's not really much other way to say it. He's, he's a fucking amazing producer, y'all. I ain't heard of him, y'all need to hit him up. I know we fuck with a lot of the same people. And when I, whatever, which is a good thing, whatever. I think he actually talks to a few more than I do, whatever. I, I really hate dealing with people, whatever, personally. But, um, there's no standing issues between us. We're not like, not at all. So, everybody, you know, that fell to that rumor and whatnot, y'all gotta take that weak shit somewhere else. Like, <laughs> we, we, we trying to take money to the bank and cash in. We're not really on beef and whatnot. Whatever. That's not something that, that I'm big on in general. I just speak my mind and whatever. And if somebody, you know what I'm saying, decides to take it from there, then they take it from there. But, you know what I'm saying, that is what it is. Anyway, shout out to Il Shine, man. Every time I got videos up, man, you always show love, always show support, man. I got much love for you, homie. I can't wait till you come up with some projects. I'm going to promote that shit like it's mine. I got much love for you. I, I haven't even known you, Laura, or whatever, but you cool people. So I fuck with you. I fuck with Reels Cafe. I fuck with Mikey Knox. I fuck with Poetic Soul Girl. I fuck with Hazy Flow. And um, quite a few other people. The entire new King Jaden Productions team, welcome, much love. We're not just doing this, but we're going to do it better than anyone ever feels that they've ever done it. We're the best. It is what it is. So. Now it's time for me to go. I'm going to say this before I run. Take this with you. A painter paints pictures on canvas. A musician's paint pictures on silence. Don't just make music make good music much love um see y'all again next friday kjp yeah i'm y'all